So I read this book uh, by a guy named Adam Grant, and uh, it's a book called um, Think Again. And he tells us he tells this really interesting story about smoke jumpers. Ever heard of a smoke jumper? They uh, smoke jumpers uh, are firefighters who parachute into existing forest fires. So these elite firefighters hit the ground with the needed tools: axes, saws, shovels, twenty-pound packs on their on their back. And sometimes the firefighters need to jettison their equipment and run for their lives without all the extra weight. But uh, believe it or not, that's hard for them to do. Dropping your equipment means more than disregarding your instincts. It means you're admitting failure and shredding part of your identity. Here's how one organizational psychologist explained it. Fires are not fought with bodies or bare hands. They are fought with tools that are often distinctive trademarks of the firefighter. They are the firefighter's reason for being deployed in the first place. Dropping one's tools creates an existential crisis. Without my tools, who am I? Sometimes a fresh start calls for leaving behind the things that were our identity or the things we thought were our identity. That's what happened to a man Jesus called from a tax booth. In Matthew 9, 9, as Jesus <clears throat> was, was passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at a tax booth, and he said to him, follow me. And Matthew rose and followed him. Now, the Jews despised tax collectors as much as they despised the Romans. Rome was a foreign empire taxing them into obscurity. Tax collectors were traitors, unprincipled Jews who worked for Rome and pocketed the profits for personal gain. Now, many of them were very, very wealthy and had their identity tied to money. But when Jesus called Matthew, just think about this. He got up, he left everything, and followed Jesus. The calling of Matthew teaches us an important lesson. Jesus meets us right where we are, and he calls us from our sin. He calls us to drop the things of our past. That's called repentance. A fresh start doesn't mean you need to clean up yourself to start following Jesus, because you can't. But Jesus, again, meets you right where you are and says, follow me. Right where you are, in your doubt, in your skepticism, in your addiction, in your lethargy, in your materialism, in your self-centeredness, in your adultery, in your brokenness, in your past identity. Jesus meets you right where you are. He forgives, he restores, and gives you a fresh start. So are you ready to drop the stuff of the past and move forward with Jesus? Father, thank you for coming to me when I was sitting in my tax booth. When my identity was wrapped up in uh, the things of the world, thank you for coming and inviting me to, to follow you. And Lord, that's what you're doing for all of us today. You meet us where we are, right where we are. And then you say, follow me. You're the one who cleans us. You're the one who rescues us. You're the one who helps us take the first step. And so, Lord, I pray that for those watching and listening today, that you would meet them where they are and then call them. And, Lord, by your strength, they would get up and they would follow you and follow hard after you. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today as we think about a fresh start. And again, I want to challenge you. What is it you need to drop in order to be rescued by Jesus. Thanks for joining us on the journey.